Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Pick Lumen, and I've got something awesome to show you guys. This is a completely free AI image and AI art generator. The images you saw flying behind me, those were all created with Pick Lumen. And again, completely free. There's no watermarks, there's no upsells, there's no nonsense. It's easy to use. Let me show you how. All right, let's go. So the first step, you wanna go to picklumen.com right here, link will be in the description below. From there, just click on generate for free. It's right on the front page and presto, it takes you directly into the back end. And in particular, it took me to the create page. And if you look here, you'll see here that I've been busy at work creating images and art of a French bulldog. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I have a French bulldog and I love him dearly. So yeah, this makes perfect sense here. So before I show you some of the creation techniques, though, take a quick look here. I'll go to explore just here in the top tab. And here's something I like to do. I like to just sort of flip through and see what other people are making. If there's a uh, image or a style that I like, for example, this one here gives me some Hitchcock type vibes here. I'll just click on it and look at this here. You'll see here that this one was created by this person, William Miller. It gives us the exact prompt that was used. So if I want to create something similar, I can just go ahead and select that. And of course, it'll give you a few more other details like CFG scale for those of you that are highly technical and know what you're doing, step sampler, etc. But again, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just start cooking here. So I'm going to go back to create. And now let's go ahead and see what we can do. All right. So here we are in the create tab. And this is where the magic happens here. I've got general settings open on the left side. And you'll see here that I can go ahead and select one of their models. Right now, for example, they've got a realistic version two model, an anime model, a line art model, etc. I'm just gonna leave it on realistic, but of course you can switch through it. Beneath that, you'll see they've got some aspect ratios, so they've got a whole bunch of them. I'm actually gonna switch from the one one, which is a default one, which works great for things like Instagram, for example. I'm gonna switch it to 69, which is a horizontal style, which is great for YouTube. And then very importantly, underneath that, you'll see it defaults to one image. But what if you want to create four images at a time, like I just did here with this French Bulldog, just click on the four and then presto, boom. Now, for those of you that really know your prompting, you can add in negative prompts if you wish. And for those of you that are really, really good and you want to really experiment, and this is for more of you uh, techie types, you can go ahead and change things like CFG scale, the number of steps and the samplers, for example. I generally don't mess with this. But if you know what you're doing and you want to, go right ahead. From there, all you need to do is go up to the top here and type in the prompt. So I'm going to go English Bulldog because I'm original. Playing, oops, playing on the beach. Beach. Now, I'm not a super prompter. For those of you that want to make it a Salvador Dali uh, art piece with a little bit of Van Gogh in there while he's, you know, playing Monet and stuff like that. For those of you that are really technical, go ahead and write the prompt as you see fit. I'm just gonna show you a quick one. I'll come back when this is done. We're gonna get four images and then we'll go from there. All right, welcome back. So here are the four images and holy smokes, look at these, holy, holy smokes. Wow, this has come a long way. This looks like an English Bulldog and keep in mind that we were using their realistic version too. And well, these are realistic. Now I love all of these images, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna go with this one here on the bottom right because I really like it. So I'm gonna click on this one here and then wow, we'll see here that this was the prompt used. This was the negative prompt. We just left the default in here. Holy smokes, love this one. So we've got some options. We can go ahead and share this. Now this is good enough to share right to social media if you wanted to, or you can click on this, that gives you a link to it. If I wanna download it, I'll just click this little download button and presto, it has downloaded. Now watch this, when I open this, this is very important. When I open it, this is the image. There is no watermark. This is genuinely a free service. Amazing. So keep that in the back of your head. Oops, I sort of walked away from my doggy. There we go. And here we go. So I go ahead and do a few other options here. This one here is removing background. Now, I like the fact that he's on the beach, but if I just wanted the dog and I wanted to make like, let's say a transparent PNG with an alpha in the back, I can go ahead and do that if I see fit. I like this one a lot, so here's another option. This is HD Fix. Basically what this does is it upscales it and it adds in a little detail. Let's click on it, why not? It's gonna go ahead and generate it. This is what I use for like really good images that are candidate images for like things that I want to 
you know, either create thumbnails for or use it in my animations, etc. So I'm going to do that. I've hit HD. I'll come back when it's done. We'll compare and contrast it, and then we'll wrap it all up. All right, welcome back. So here's what we got. It's great. Take a look at this here. You'll see here at the bottom right, it says dimension 2688 by 1536. This is what it looks like. You can see in here, there's more wrinkles in the face here. It's just gone ahead and upscaled it. It's actually doubled the pixel count, and it's added in some more details. There's the 2688 by 1536 one, which I just showed you. Now I'm going to go back to the original here so you can see that. Uh, and I believe it's this one here. He's sitting there with the ball playing. Here it is. Yes, there it is. So there's our original. And when I click on it, before I do that, actually look at this here. 1344 by 768. So again, it's doubled the pixel count. And we click on it here. And there's just a few less wrinkles in the face. And uh, just, just it's very good. But when you hit the HD fix, it just adds in that little extra. So this is really all there is to it. I've got tons of images here. There's all these different cool styles. I like uh, styles. I like this one for animation. I was going to animate this little bulldog. Uh, <laughs> this one here looks like the business. This looks like my French bulldog, Kingston. And uh, there you go. This is all there is to it. He showed you how to download it. Guys, this is a fantastic free AI image, AI art generator. I don't know if you're paying for Mid Journey or Dolly 3, but this is a fantastic alternative. And it's got an even better price. So there you go, guys. Links in the description below. Give it a try. It's completely free. Thanks for watching.